I want to look at a subject here I've called How Should Man Be Just With God? That is, be right in the sight of God. Ecclesiastes 7.20 For there is not a just man upon the earth that doeth good and sinneth not. Job 25 verse 4 How then can man be justified with God? Or how can he be clean that is born of a woman? Deuteronomy 32 verse 4 He is the rock, his work is perfect. For all his ways are judgment, a God of truth and without iniquity, just and right is he. Isaiah 64 verse 6, But we are all as an unclean thing, and all our righteousnesses are as filthy rags. And we all do fade as a leaf, and our iniquities, like the wind, have taken us away. Isaiah 45, 21, the last part, There is no God else beside me, a just God and a Saviour. There is none beside me. Uh, Luke chapter 2, verses 25 to 30, And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon, and the same man was just and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. And it was revealed unto him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen the Lord's Christ, or the Lord's anointed, what it really means, or the Messiah. And he came by the Spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him after the custom of the law, then took him up in his arms and blessed God and said, Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word, for mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, a light to lighten the Gentiles, and the glory of thy people Israel. You see, the Father sent the Son to be the Saviour of the world. We need salvation because we are sinners in the sight of God, as we saw there. Uh, for there is not a just man upon earth that doeth good and sinneth not. The only one without sin is the Lord Jesus Christ in and of himself. But you see, if we believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, the righteousness of God will be given to us as a gift and will be made clean in the sight of God. And therefore we can enter into the new heaven. You see, there's going to be nothing that will defile that will go into the new heaven. You and I cannot be there because we are defiled by sin. We're wicked and evil in the sight of God before we've been saved, before we become a child of God through faith in Christ. But today is another opportunity that you can pass from death unto life, from the power of the darkness into the kingdom of the Son of His love. And you can become a child of God through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ alone. You see, there's no one like the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the saviour of the whole world. He's available for the whole world to be saved. But unfortunately, the whole world will not be saved. Why? Because they will not believe on the Lord Jesus Christ for their eternal salvation. What you need to do is come in repentance toward God. That is a change of mind. Just simply agree with God that you're a sinner and then believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Then we can be just before God, made righteous in the sight of God. Then we'll, we will be given the righteousness of God through faith in the, in the Lord Jesus Christ. Just come in repentance toward God, as I said, which is a change of mind. Simply agree with God that you're a sinner and then believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Acts 4.12 says, Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. We're not saved, we remain in a lost condition, going down to hell and facing the judgment of God because our sins have not been forgiven. And yet your sins today can be forgiven through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Don't leave it another second, it's too dangerous not to get right with God, not become a child of God through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ.
Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. He was buried and he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. In whom we have redemption through his blood even the forgiveness of sins.